Exam week is finally over and you have utilized Google Forms as your assessment tool. But you see, technology isn't perfect. Software bugs and glitches are here to taunt you from time to time. You know how to generate a spreadsheet for the responses of your students, but in some instances, some data could be missing. So what do you do? This may be caused by a number of different reasons, from internet connection instability to data traffic. And you've done everything from refreshing to restarting your device, but to no avail. There may be more ways to solve this issue, but in my case, this is how I figured a solution that worked for me. So if you ever encounter this problem, then please keep watching. The specific problem that I encountered was the column that's supposed to contain the names of my students were blank. I did have a required question allotted for their names, but for some reason, it wouldn't show up in Google Sheets. Um, everything else was there except for the name column. As you can see, column C contains no data at all. Even though I have a name section in the actual Google Forms and the required question is toggled on. What I did was go back to the responses tab in your Google Form. You will see a three dot menu on the upper right corner of the form. Click on it and choose select response destination. Make sure create a new spreadsheet is selected. Rename the spreadsheet so it doesn't overwrite the previous one just in case you still need that for future reference. In my case, I have to use it in this video so I can show you that these things do happen. Then click Create. Ta-da! The column of data that was missing is now filled out. It created a new spreadsheet in Google Sheets that is now linked to your Google Forms exam instead of the previous one that has a missing data column. You can now go ahead and highlight the entire spreadsheet that contains all the exam data. Right-click on the highlighted area, click Sort Range, Sort by Column C, and then click Sort. This would alphabetize the names of your students for easy recording. That's it, guys! So, I hope this video was helpful. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!